With the recent Ledger news, it's opened a lot of users' eyes and all the people who are looking to purchase it. My name's Darren. I've made multiple tutorials on other hardware wallets to help store your Bitcoin. In this video, I'm going to show you three safe alternatives to Ledger wallets. We're gonna cover the straight up replacement, the better option for your Bitcoin, and the ultimate secure device to store your Bitcoin. Most likely, you as a viewer are gonna fall into one of these three categories, so I'm making it easy for you to choose. Number one is you're looking for a safer, better option for all of your crypto tokens. The second category is you're looking to store your Bitcoin in a much safer way, but do not wanna break the bank in doing so. And the third option is you're looking for the ultimate security option, most features that you'll never have to upgrade again. So before we get to the video, got a sponsor from Mr. Satoshi. They make premium Bitcoin apparel. You can get 15% off your order by using my referral link in the description below. Number one is the Keystone wallet. You're gonna be familiar with this setup because it holds a lot of those assets that you're used to with your ledger. Where it is far superior is it is a 100% air gap device. So it's never going to plug into your computer like a ledger would. You can use a camera or memory card to sign your transactions. It is super easy to use with a touch screen and fingerprint sensor. It has a self-destruct mechanism with an open source secure element. If anyone's ever steal this item, it would self-destruct as they try to extract your seed from that computer chip on the secure element. In something like a Trezor, it has been shown that if you get access to it with the right skills, you're able to extract the seed from that computer chip that is just open source, not a secure element. Because this is just a signing device to sign transactions and not connected to the internet, it means you're going to have to connect this device to a wallet app. And good news, it can be used with many different wallet apps across the space. They have their own, but it's unfortunately only available on mobile devices, not like a Ledger Live that would be available on desktop that might, you might be used to. Now, all these features I talked about are available on the Keystone Pro. They do have a normal Keystone model that gets rid of the fingerprint sensor and the self-destruct mechanism. Now, some negatives with this wallet, it does support all the other cryptocurrencies. You may say, this is great, it stores all my other assets, but it's actually security risk. A lot of the software features have to be put into this wallet in order to communicate with a lot of these other different protocols. And there's a lot more security holes that could be penetrated when using all of those different assets. When a developer focuses on just Bitcoin, they can really narrow down all of the risks or attack vectors. However, they do have a Bitcoin only firmware option that would mitigate all of these risks. This is what I use it for. I have a tutorial, link is going to be in the description. They have a sale on right now for the Keystone Pro. Second category is you're looking for a budget friendly place to safely secure your Bitcoin where you can sleep at night. This is the Blockstream Jade. It can be used with multiple different wallet apps across the space. It is fully open source with a secure element and is Bitcoin only. It can stay 100% air gapped as it has Bluetooth and a camera on the back of it to sign transactions. Blockstream has their own wallet app, Blockstream Green, that is actually very user friendly and works really well. It's extremely easy to use and budget friendly. This thing runs you about 50 to 60 dollars some negatives on this is it does have a camera and bluetooth a lot of these elements have not been really put to the test as it comes to bitcoin security for a long a long period of time and there's still some certain devices it does not work perfectly on like a apple device for example when you plug in something like this the de ios doesn't recognize it so you're going to have to use bluetooth if you want to use it with an iphone or ipad but they do have it for that reason these are just nitpicky things that don't take away from the device or the security of it at all. You can get 10% off on the Blockstream Jade with uh, my referral link below. The third category is for those who are looking for the cream of the crop security device, and this would be a cold card, what many consider as the kind of pinnacle of Bitcoin hardware. It is made by CoinKite, and currently they're on their fourth iteration on the MK4. You can view the source code. It has a secure element, has backup features such as distress pins, bricking, Bitcoin seed generation, encrypted backups, and no actual battery within the device. This is pretty much a power user's device. It has so much packed in here to use Bitcoin in any way that you would want to. It is compatible with many different wallets across the space. 
Cold Card actually doesn't have their own wallet software, and this might be for a good reason. The Jade Keystone Ledger we all talked about before, it has their own wallet software, so it can know all of your addresses, it can push updates to the app when you're using it, possibly without your permission. It's a little less secure than having no connection from your device to your wallet app. For example, like I bought the Keystone wallet, the Keystone wallet knows the address it was sent to, it knows my name that I purchased it under, it knows the credit card that I purchased it under, then has a QR code that scans on their website, and then when I use their own wallet software, it'll be like, yep, he's using that device, and then possibly could go through a block explorer, look at the amount that is on my wallet. So you want to avoid that. Now when you're researching the cold card, it might be overwhelming because there are a ton of features on here, and I would agree that signing a transaction is a little bit more cumbersome than people make it out to be. However, you can actually use a USB cord just like your ledger would be, plug it in and sign the transactions in a extremely easy manner. There's great instructions on the cold card on how to use it. I have a full tutorial in my channel below explaining the cold card and making it as easy as possible. When you're looking for a wallet, look for it to be open source. The ability to use it on any app without a required update from their software. Be slow to update. There's a lot of great resources up there to show if recent updates were malicious or had any bugs in them. And try never to connect you or your information to a wallet in any way. A wallet and an address should never be tied to you. And always have it offline so those wallet updates aren't just forcing themselves updating connected to the internet all the time. Again, I have the links to all the wallets below. If you got any questions, leave them in the comments. Be happy to answer them for you. I got a full website on my guide, all things Bitcoin, tutorials and uh, thanks for watching.